Hi everyone, this is Jennifer Rowan, Psychic Medium, and this is the monthly tarot reading for the air signs, which are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius for July 2020. And in July, we're going to have a lunar eclipse in Capricorn on July 4th or 5th, depending on your location. And Mercury will still be in retrograde until July 12th. We also have a new moon, which is a time of new beginnings, on July 20th. And with these eclipses, eclipses can bring many changes to our lives. They can bring good changes, or sometimes they can bring things to an end that we needed to change. And these changes may occur up until six months after the eclipse. Also, I wanted to give you your uh, lottery number for the month, and the number that was coming to me was 616. So let's move on, air signs, to your monthly tarot reading. And the first card that we have is the Spirit of Air. And this is actually from the Native Spirit cards. And with this card, it is basically saying that this month you will need to have clarity and to see things from a higher perspective. And this is going to help you make good decisions throughout the month. And I feel like there's going to be times this month or some of you are going to feel very focused and some of you are going to feel <clears throat> a little bit scattered. And part of this does have a lot to do with the energy, especially being in Mercury retrograde, and especially if it affects your sign. But this is a time to also clear out any mental clutter that you have, and also to take some deep breaths to release those thoughts, uh, because that will help you to stay focused. Also, the spirit of air has to do with change and tra transformation and again allows you to see things from a higher perspective so that you can stay organized and do things in a more focused manner. And the second card that we have is from the Healing with the Angels deck and this is the Soulmate card. And with the Soulmate card, this is telling me that this month you may meet someone very special. And, it's, and the angels are basically saying that your prayers have been answered in re regards to a soulmate or a good, healthy relationship. And as long as you are taking the steps to manifest this, then you can actually bring this to you. So starting out for July, uh, this looks really great. And as I mentioned, for some of you, um, some of these things may occur throughout the month. And for some of you, these may not. So just take what fits for you and just leave the rest. And for this month, the theme is going to be the Page of Wands. Now the pages are the messengers. And this can be a message of good news that's coming your way this month. And who doesn't like good news? We always like to welcome good news. And if things have been a little bit rocky for you, then I want to say that I feel like things will start to look up a bit. And this shows me that you can be very creative or you may feel inspired to start a new project maybe a new business or have a new idea about something. And remember that because this is something new, you don't want to move too quickly on it. You want to take a step at a time so that you can see how things are going. And if you need to make any changes, then you can do that. And also what this shows me is that it's also since it is a new project, it does bring a new beginning to you. And 
So the other thing is this may be a male in your life that comes into your life who could be very creative and also somebody who that you can actually look up to and somebody that can be very charismatic as well. And I feel like uh, these can also be aspects of either a male around you, a male you may, may be meeting, or even aspects of yourself. So whatever it is that you're going to be working on this month, then again, just make sure that you take things slowly and uh, take some time to meditate because that will give you new ideas and clarity on things as well. So the next card that we have, and this is going to be around the first week of July, and this is the Five of Cups. And with the Five of Cups, this is about change. It can also be about loss and also can be about disappointments. And this is just saying that even though you may have this disappointment, there are better days ahead and all is not lost whether it's in this situation or in your life it's always good to leave the past behind and to move on to better things situations or people and just rem remember that this change is only temporary because you have the ability to bring better things to you as we have seen with the soulmate card and in the spirit of the air. It's about transforming yourself, making positive changes and thinking positively as well. And just remember that any type of loss that we have, whether it's a relationship or a job, maybe it was no longer a good fit for us. So if you go into things with fresh energy and a new perspective, you may be successful in your next job or relationship. And it's interesting because the next card that we have for the second week is the death card. Now, usually with the death card, this does not mean an actual death. Although sometimes I have heard of other people having losses or you may have a loss. But in most cases, that is not what this is about. It's about change and transformation. So it does look like this month that you will be going through a lot of change and transformation in different situations. It could have to do with your job or relationships as well. And this is about moving forward and cleaning out the clutter in your life that no longer serves you so that you can replace it with something better. And with endings always comes new beginnings and will bring in more positive energy for you. So even though you may have another disappointment with this, or it could be close to the time of this, or just one thing, um, again, things may be looking up for you and it looks that way towards the end of the month. And the third card that we have, this is for the third week of the month, and this is the King of Cups. Now we did talk about a possible soulmate connection for some of you this month, and I see that you might meet a very sensitive and caring male if you are a female, and they may be coming into your life this month. They may be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. And that shows me that they're also very kind, they can be very romantic, and also be very intuitive and sensitive to your feelings. Maybe you, the person that you had in the past um, during this lost or at the time of this death card was that you had a person that wasn't very caring and sensitive. And now you're gonna meet somebody who has those qualities and that's the kind of relationship that we're looking for, is somebody that is respectful and caring. Also, these can be aspects of you as well, being sensitive and caring. And this may be a time 
that you're helping a friend or someone else having difficulties in a relationship with this month. Uh, you could possibly be a teacher, a counselor, or a social worker, or you or another may be meeting a friend or a partner who is a teacher, counselor, or a social worker as well. So if you meet them, the King of Cups, then just welcome this person in and take a step at a time. And now we get to the fourth card, which is the Wheel of Fortune. And this is around the fourth week of the month. But again, with time frames, sometimes things happen a little bit sooner. They can be on time or show up a little bit later. And again, this month seems to be a big cycle of change for you in many ways. And with the Wheel of Fortune card, it is saying that there's a new cycle coming towards you. So if you've been going through a lot of difficulties, just know that the universe has your back and your angels are watching over you and they're trying to bring good things to you because you had, have had the disappointments. Also, this can be a time of unexpected opportunities that are coming your way. And this would be great if you had a job loss earlier in the month or recently. And also, um, this can be money coming your way. So if your financial situation hasn't been good, maybe you lost your job a short time ago during this COVID-19, then this is just saying those opportunities are going to come up and you're going to get the rewards, maybe a raise with this. So it all looks good for the month of July, except for these disappointments and changes. But again, what I feel is that the changes that are going to be made are going to end up being positive because it's going to bring something better to you. And the last card, which is actually the outcome card for the month, and this is also a very good card, and this is the Ten of Pentacles. So this could be a time that we're finishing up things, finishing up projects, but what this shows me, it's a card of security, wealth, and stability. And also this can have to do with an earth sign as well, which is Tar Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And it's a time of completion and when you have accomplished your goals. You have a lot of wealth from your success and all the hard work that you've been doing either this month or in the past. And this shows me that you have a chance to share that wealth with the people that are close to you, whether it's in a relationship or in a marriage. And it also shows me that this is going to bring you a lot of happiness and comfort to your home. And also in the future, I also feel like you will have a lot of good things that are coming your way. Maybe you'll consider buying a new home or a new property. And um, this can bring you many different things, but it is a good card. So it looks like it's you're finishing up the month on a good note. So I just wish you the best this month. And I know that you are a very focused person and you can gain even more clarity and focus just by making these changes and clearing out the clutter in your life. So I want to say thank you, Air Signs, for joining me during this reading. If you'd like to schedule a reading with me in the future, I am a psychic, medium, and a tarot reader and I live in Pittsburgh, but I do things over Skype and Zoom as well if you live at a distance. My website is jenniferrowanpsychicmedium.com, and if you are new to my video channel, I want to say thank you for stopping by, and if you would like to like, share, and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Feel free to hit the notification bell so that when a new video comes out, you will automatically receive it. And if you have been already supporting my channel, I appreciate that as well. Any comments that you make uh, would be appreciated. And if you'd all let me know how you were doing, I'd love to hear it. So thanks again, and I hope you all have a great month of July.